This is a video on performing a mini brake bleed on an Aventon Aventure bicycle with Zoom hydraulic disc brakes. You want to do a mini brake bleed if you know your brakes are in good condition, there are no leaks, and you're suspecting air in the brake lines or the hydraulic cylinder. In my case, the rear brakes were working halfway and then I lost them completely on a trip and even pumping them did not get them back. Now they're firm and rock solid. I also adjusted the front brakes to match the firmness of the rear brakes that were bled. Materials required. Shimano Pink Hydraulic Mineral Oil or any other brand, but it's the pink, not blue, and not brake fluid. A Psycho Bico brake bleed kit for mineral oil hydraulic disc brakes. The Aventon hex head wrench at four millimeters and a T20 Torx head. For personal safety, wear gloves and eye protection. The Psycho Bico instructions listed this as the fitting. However, it was not correct for mine. I had to use this one, which has a longer shaft on the uh, threads. Assemble the syringe and the tubing as per the instructions. Set the clamp as low as possible, but still allowing you to crimp it off. Now we're going to charge the syringe with mineral oil. I'm going to dip this directly in and bring it about halfway. When you pull it out, immediately crimp it off. Be sure to document the position of your brake handle. You might need to adjust this. We want to make this opening the very highest part of the bicycle. So what I did is I moved the wheels and I set them with chocks. And next we're going to adjust the handle so that we can get that at the top. With the four millimeter hex head, you loosen these two and then you twist this up until you get that at the highest point and then just lightly cinch it back down again. Next, with the T20 Torx, we're gonna remove the cap, uh, the reservoir cap. There's a little grommet in there and make sure that that gets removed because the other kit, the syringe kit will have a grommet as well. Next step is visually inspect how much fluid is in there and I could just see that there's an air gap and that's why my brakes are a little spongy. Next, we're going to put the tube with the adapter on and we have our wrench in hand so that we can tighten this up. Okay. I'm gonna slide this up so I can see what's going on and you can see that some air bubbles are already coming up. So by, here's what people show to uh, bleed the brakes. They show by flicking this handle and you could see all of this, these bubbles just migrating up. Okay. The small bubbles and little bubbles and uh, what you can do is get the little bubbles to coalesce into larger bubbles. Okay. And you might want to flick the, the bars, but here's a trick that I've tried. If you push down on the syringe, and then you suck up, it pulls a lot of air out a lot quicker. And then you just need to get into the syringe and you can continue on to push down and suck a lot more out a lot quicker. So I'm pushing down, some air went in there, but it's gonna come back out. And I'm holding my finger up top with the, with the suction and I'm trying to coax the air bubbles up and you can actually use the, uh, the stopper to push it up a little. Pump it a few more times and suck it a few more times. So now we're gonna let it sit and let it 
um, the, the bubbles just come up on its own. Okay, we're gonna resume, push it down, and then we're gonna suck up, and I do not see any more bubbles. So now that we have no more air bubbles seen, I'm going to cinch this off, and I'm going to remove this. And place the cap on quickly. For one final step, I added a few more drops right at the very top to just completely fill this cylinder. Tighten it down. And now test. And these are nice and firm, no more mushiness. Be sure to clean these handles because the fluid, the mineral oil will come out when you're tightening it up. And finally, adjust the handle back to the correct position if you moved it to get it to the top. 